All right, people. So OCG got their new list, and there's not much to say about it. I mean, it, it's a small little list, only four cards. And I know OCG is known for doing this. They really are. They do a big list, they do a little list. They do a big list, they do a little list. Last list was big. Like, it was big until, you know, it crippled Draco Pals. It pretty much changed their meta for, like, ever, you know. Like, it was a completely different meta uh, before, kind of like the ending of the Duel Alliance era. This right here, this is another minimal list. This is like when they, what they do? I think they ban Shockmaster, Plush Fire, and Damage Juggler, and that's it, you know? So this is pretty much the same exact list, except... These aren't hits. These are not hits. These are just things moving up. So uh, I guess we'll go ahead and go over it. Uh, one thing that I'm actually surprised that they didn't hit, but maybe they're okay with it because maybe they're a little bit more liberal over there, is that they didn't hit Pot of Cupidity. Like, that's crazy. Like, you know, I could easily see Pot of Cupidity getting banned. I mean, for goodness sakes, they're like, yeah, you may banish 10, but it's still a Pot of Greed. All right. No, 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 no. Forget it. We tried, you know, or at least limit it, but no, no. So, uh... I don't think we'll have the Potty Cupidity out yet, so it's not going to be available for Worlds. And this is pretty much what this list is for OCG, just Worlds. And um, the only thing that could be really influenced with us is Thousand Night Restrict. So if our upcoming list, we put Thousand Night Restrict too, then you get two Thousand Night Restricts at Worlds. But everything else, no. So let's go over it. So uh, from one to two, they moved uh, Wall of Ring Light. It's been a long time since Wall of Ring Light has been hit. Um, I'd say my problem with it when it comes to OCG is that self-destruct button's not hit over there, so that could be some shenanigans, it's just wall and revealing light, self-destruct button, while they don't have, uh, you know, like, life equalizer or something along those lines, uh, you could still, you know, because I believe they banned life equalizer, they didn't ban self-destruct button like we did, so it's interesting that they were the ones that ended up moving wall of revealing light before we did, because we, we I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, you can't attack, you pay the life points, multiples. Really, it, it's not about the blocking attack, it's more just, you know, that, that huge life point pay and doing some shenanigans with that. That's, that's definitely a problem with Wall of Ring Light. Uh, me and Rennie discussed it, and we're like, that's the problem, you know? If you want to go ahead and be activated and pay 7,000 life points so none of my monsters that are 7,000 or higher can tackle over it, that's fine, because I'm going to get Twin Twister or Castell, and I'm going to get rid of it, right? But then when you play something exactly with it, i.e. self-destruct button or something along those lines, or way back in the day, back when uh, last turn uh, was a thing, you can move around like pay the light points last turn, summon your Jalgen game, you know? So yeah, I, I could definitely understand that. But as long as you get rid of all the Saki cards around it, then no one cares about Wall of Ring Light. So, you know, let's see if anybody's going to get Saki with it. But I can easily see that card going back up to three. Uh, next card, Thousand Night Restrict. Saw that coming, you know? Um... Both of the OCG and the TCG Thousand Night Restrict came off band, and uh, it has not been bad. You know, at first I was I was like, oh shit, Thousand Night Restrict, everybody's gonna play Insta Fusion. They're just throwing Thousand Night Restrict, take up your snatch up your monster now. If anything, you know, it, it, it's not even it's not even Insta Fusion Thousand Night Restrict. It's always Insta Fusion Norton, and I really do like OCG's approach more because. Yeah, they have Thousand Night Restrict us too, but they have zero Norton. Norton is banned. That's wonderful. I would love for Norton to be banned. Thousand Night Restrict can go up to three. I don't care. But Norton, that's who that's who that's who you see with Instafusion. That's who you see. You know? You see Instafusion, Norton. Sometimes you see Instafusion Panda Dragon, but for all the hype of Thousand Night Restrict coming off the list on both OCG and TCG, and you can oh my god, you can use it with Instafusion. Nah, come on, son. Come on, son. We haven't seen much of that, right? So in my opinion, Thousand Night Restrict can go up to three. Who cares? You know, so uh, that's fine. And then uh, they move their Sangan, their eroded Sangan, up to two. Of course, we have Sangan banned. We didn't get the errata yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the errata soon because we always do. We all will file and suit, and then Sangan will probably get unbanned and shoot up to whatever it is in the OCG. And right now, it's at, it's going to two. I wouldn't be surprised next list it goes up to three. Um, it's, it's not a bad errata, but it definitely slows it down. You can only use Sangan once per turn, so you know. You have multiple sand gans now, so at least you can do that, but you know, it's not like you you can like put them some multiple sand gans and have multiple tuners and sync with them sand gans to get all of them searches. Like no 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 no. You know, you can use the effect of sand gan once per turn. Uh, like usual and at San Francisco the Grave, add a monster with fifteen hundred or less attack from your deck to your hand, so that's still there. But if you add a monster to your hand using the effect, you cannot activate monster's effects with the same name as that card this turn. So it's a lot slower, you know? It's not like you can go ahead and just, you know, Pendulum Summon Sangan, Sync with Sangan, uh, Sangan get you to search, then summon that monster that you search and activate that effect, you know, no. It's much slower. So generally, you want to go ahead and set Sangan, let your opponent kill it, and then we'll go ahead and get you to search. You can't use that monster's effect, you know, this turn, and then you go ahead and your turn, you can use it. So, you know, 
there's not too many monsters that you're going to search with Sangan during your opponent's turn and then use unless, you know, your opponent attacks it, battle phase, you search for, you know, like, effect veiler, and then try to effect veiler your opponent main phase too, you know, so, you know, that's not, it's not a terrible rod, it's probably one of the more tamer ones, but uh, it'll be interesting to see, you know. Uh, it's been a cool minute since we've seen Sangan at one, let alone two. So, you know, OCG, you know how liberal they are. They're definitely going to go ahead and up it to three. Then they're going to see, oh, how's Sangan at three? Then we're going to get the Arata Sangan, and probably that Demok is probably going to go from a band to three with the Arata. So, yep, just follow suit. I, I really don't know what deck's going to play this. I mean, Sangan, like I said, it's slow, I and mean, that's the problem. It's slow. It's a, it's a good card. Yeah, sure. So any monster, 1500 attack or less. I mean, Come on, that's great, but it's just slow, you know? So who's going to play? And it has to be sent from the field to the graveyard, you know? You just can't summon Dante, mill it to the graveyard. No, field to the graveyard. So, you know, I mean, I guess you can do your classic play of Tour Guide, Summon Sand again. That's nice and all, but Tour Guide is still at one, both in OCG and in TCG. And, of course, when you if you see with Sand again, detach him, you don't get the effect because he's not in the roof from the field. So, I don't know. I don't know, just in comparison, he's just a little slow. Like, maybe Burning Abyss will play him, maybe not. I don't know, but I really can't see anybody. So, no, I can, I can definitely see that card going up to three, and no one would care. And then, the last card, the card that went from two to three, they have Super Rejuve. I, all right, all right, this is how I feel about Super Rejuve. People say that Super Rejuve was broken because of Dragon Lurch. I feel that Super Rejuve is broken, and it only brought attention to it because of Dragon Lurch. I've always felt like it's a bad card. I, I have always felt like Super Juve has been a stupid card. Whether it be in that Odin Zillia FTK or when Heretics were playing, it's always been a stupid card. But it, it was just Dragon Rulers bringing it to our attention that, hey, look, this is a dumb card. You know, but I guess OCG feels like, hey, we got rid of the... <coughs> excuse me. We got rid of the main that that was playing the card. So therefore, uh, this card, you know, could go up. And I, I mean, we're, we're totally accused of doing that. I mean, for goodness sakes, we've been slowly... Everything that was hit by the Dragon Rush has been slowly moving up. Uh, you know, OCG, I believe they have one. I want to say they have one Dragon Ravine and three Shrine. I think they had two, but I think they have up to three. We have three Shrine and two Dragon Ravine, and we have not moved Dragon Ravine up to three. So, and that was Dragon Rouge later. We just moved the Bridge Dragon up to two. We'll probably go back up to three in the next list. So, we, we, I mean, come on. Dragon Rouge were 2013. We're now in 2016, and we're still just slowly moving shit up for Dragon Rouge. So, you know. As long as I stay banned, I'm fine, but, I mean, I just feel like Super Juve's not one of them cards, you know? That's like, that's like, I'm trying to think of a good example. I'm trying to think of a good example where it is the influence of the deck that makes a card. That's like saying, all right, well, we hit the crap out of, like, you know, let's say that they hit the complete crap out of the Draco Pals. Draco Pals are dead. Similar to Yoshi, you know, Monkey Board's banned, Sorcerer's at one, you don't see any Draco Pals in Yoshi. They're dead, all right? So, Draco Pals slash PP is dead. Therefore, all right, well, they're dead. We don't have to worry about them. So, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and bring back freaking Damage Juggler. Because, you know, it, I mean, it wasn't that, but it doesn't have to, no, 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 you know? Like, there's some particular card that is not the deck, but the influence of the card. And then you bring it to attention, the, you know, the deck. Yeah? Uh, you know? What's another example? What's another example where it's a particular card, but then it, if you bring attention to the deck, then it's fine. You know, it's like, oh, well, oh, Infernities. Yeah, Infernities. They won Worlds. We went ahead and hit them. So, you know, Infernities are done. Infernities are done. So since they're done, we can start moving up cards for them. So let's go ahead and bring back the Wall of Chains. Like, no. Like, it's the influence of the card, not the deck. The deck brings it to your attention. When you when that guy sat at the world and did some his love level change shenanigans and stuff like that, then you know, definitely. But you know, so I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, will it be played? I I don't know. I don't know the CG meta. I don't know. Blue eyes is some top tier shit, and you know there is some shit that you can discard. I mean, for goodness sakes, freaking just think the just, don't you just love the idea of just twin twister pitch like a dragon pop? You know. Uh, pit, you know, pitch like a stone. You're gonna get a dragon with freaking, you know, your uh, ancient white stone, and then you just go super Jew and even out at and at minimum, you're gonna even out. That's an upstart. That's great. You know, it discard anymore, and you anymore, and you're going straight up plus with it. You know, it can, you know, one discard. That's a that's a that's upstart goblin going to a pot of greed and up and up and up. And of course, if you draw into multiple super Jew, so if I go super Jew, uh, you remember dragon rulers? They would go ahead and discard like you know a. You know, two, three dragons, super reju, draw three. Oh, and I drew another super reju. This is still the end phase. Super reju, draw some more. Super reju, draw some more. So, you know, it's at three. So you can do that kind of shenanigans. Some again. So, 
I don't know. I don't know. Zodiac, TK, Herotics. You, you already know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be you know, some shenanigans, but eh. So, personally, I feel just because the Dragon Rooms are banned, that's not one of the cards that should be moved. I'm, I'm fine with Super Regional being banned because it restricts what you can really do. I mean, Dragons, they're already arguably the strongest type in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, so why give them more shit? It's like, it's like giving them gospel. It's like, why the fuck did you give them that? But, you know, in Dark Matter, why the fuck did you give them that? It's... Just shaking my head, so I feel like Super Juju is finally a dragon related card that finally got banned, so keep it there. Like, don't give dragons any more shit. I don't care. I don't care. Don't give them any more shit. Especially with Twin Twisters. So, yeah, that, that, that's it. That's that's their list. Four cards. Four cards all moving up. No hits, no nothing. So, uh, like I said, uh, it really comes down to our list. I predict that the TCG list will be sometime late July early August, sometime in between there. After after Nationals, before Worlds, we're probably going to get something little uh, to go ahead and adjust right before our Worlds. And uh, when our list combined, we'll go ahead and see. So, and I said, they got sure they got 2,000 on strict. We only got one. So, Worlds is one unless we up to two next list. Um, Sangan's banned. They have two, so it's banned. Uh, they have two walls. We only have one, so it's at one. They have three Super Regions. We have zero, so it's at zero. So, you know, there's not a lot of, you know, flexibility when it comes to this, when it, what this list influence uh, between the world's list. So who cares? But, you know, definitely we're going to be uh, seeing some of our, of our lists and our changes, hopefully, tweak a little couple of things. So, so uh, that's what I have to say. So tell me what you guys think about OCG's deck. I mean, a deck, OCG's list. Uh, their July 1st list. It's nice. They have a list right on July 1st that comes in a V jump. It, I mean, it's awesome. But we're just sitting here twirling our thumbs like, I don't know. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. <laughs> you know, I'll just keep checking. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. So, I don't know. Like I said, don't get your hopes up. When it happens, it happens. And I guess be surprised. But, you know, we got some things definitely to clean up on the list uh, for Worlds. But definitely what I can see winning Worlds is Blue Eyes. I can see Blue Eyes. Uh, we should have alternate by then, so, you know, that should be good. Or anything PK related. I definitely see PK because, you know, they, they still have one Dante over there. One Dante? I mean, that's three mils. That's an extra deck, three mil. That's a freaking card trooper. That's still good, you know? It's not like they banned him, so that's still great, you know? And three, three mils in PK or, um, I mean, Burning Abyss is kind of hit, but PK itself is pretty good. I know they won't have the rank up. We won't have the rank up of the Dark Red Green by World, so, but that's still good. That's still good, so one of those two. Uh, okay, now I am done talking. So thank you guys for uh, watching my, I guess, kind of review, discuss my opinion about OCG's list, uh, waiting for ours. Uh, I'll, I'm not sure when I'll be doing my balance prediction for TCG because I don't know when the list is going up. Maybe sometime in July, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I <laughs> look forward to it. All right, people, thanks for watching.